How much does it cost to sell a house? Selling your house is a big decision filled with excitement and maybe a dash of anxiety. But let's face it, the financial aspect can be downright confusing. Between repairs, title fees, probations, and commissions, it is tough to get a clear picture. Fear not house flippers and first-time sellers. In this video, I will break down the costs you can expect so you know how much you will actually walk away with at closing. Usually, the largest fee on your closing statement is going to be your mortgage payoff. This is what you still owe on your loan. Now, be careful to not just plug in your outstanding principal balance in the equation and think that's it. Your outstanding balance and mortgage payoff are actually different numbers. Your payoff is going to be slightly higher because you'll still have to pay interest on the days that you're living in the house after you've paid your mortgage at the beginning of the month. So if you sell your home on the 15th of the month, even though you made your mortgage payment on the 1st, the bank is still going to collect the per diem interest for the days you've owned that house through the 15th. The title company will request a payoff statement from the lender directly, and that will provide the title company with this dollar amount. Now you might be wondering, but what about my escrow account? Can't they just use what's in there to pay the interest through closing? Unfortunately, they can't. And about that escrow account, whatever is in there, you get back. They can't keep that. So about a month after your closing, you will get a check from your old lender with the refund of whatever was in your escrow account. So be sure to update your lender of your new address so you get that check. And then there are property taxes. This is another one of those large expenses on a home sale. Taxes are prorated, so the seller pays the per day cost of taxes from January 1 of that year through the day of closing. The buyer is responsible for the taxes after the day of closing through the end of the year. Now, for the confusing part, tax bills are usually sent out in October. So many times lenders pay those tax bills right away. This means that if you close on your home in November, your lender will have likely already paid the taxes for the year. So you will actually get a credit back on your closing statement where the buyers will owe you a credit for taxes that will cover the November close date through December 31st. So on those calculators, they are set up to provide a prorated amount as a charge from the seller and as a reduction to your bottom line. So just be aware of this expense. If you've already paid your taxes for the year, this will need to be manually adjusted to reflect a credit as opposed to a debit on this calculation. And on this form, to make it easy, you just plug in the annual tax amount up top and the closing date, then it will auto calculate the prorated amount that will populate at the bottom of the form. Now, realtor commissions, if you are working with a realtor to sell your home, there will be a fee associated with that. Some realtors may have flat amounts. Some realtors may have percentages. Some may have some sort of a hybrid. There is no set fee for real estate commissions. So you will have to ask your realtor about their commission structure. And remember, since you are paying these commissions out at closing, you actually don't pay anything until the job is complete. Now, if your home is in a homeowners association, you will have fees. They will charge you one fee to provide you with a current and updated HOA document packet. And you can't just reuse the documents you received when you purchased the home because they don't include any amendments that may have been filed after you purchased. They'll also provide the title company with a resale certificate. And this certificate tells the buyer what the HOA assessment are, if there are any unpaid dues that need to be paid at closing, or any special assessments that may be due, or maybe a capital contribution that will be required at closing. It'll also include the budget of the HOA, if your property has any violations, and if there are any fees associated with transferring the property to the new owner. So lots of information and lots of fees. And it can get very expensive. Your HOA manager can tell you now what the fees are for your community. And many times the expense to get the documents and a majority of the transfer fees falls on the shoulders of the sellers. So this is an expense you will definitely want to be aware of going in. Another expense that you might be covering as the seller is the home warranty. In the Texas real estate contract, there's actually a place for a buyer to request the seller pay a specific dollar amount to go to a home warranty. Whatever dollar amount that is in the contract, it will be credited to the buyers at closing, so you will want to make sure to account for that expense. Now, the next line on this form is a harder one to get exactly right, and that is the seller paid closing costs. Sometimes on an offer, a buyer may ask the seller to pay for some of their closing costs to help with the overall expense of buying a home. 
Other times, a buyer may negotiate this line item with the seller after they've entered into a contract for repairs that the seller may not want to complete before closing, but the buyer would like to have the funds to make those repairs after closing. If you are working through this calculator before you have a contract on your home, then you will have to estimate what to plug into this space or just put in zero. Then you have a list of title fees. The escrow fee is the amount the title company charges to process the transaction and act as the independent third party, getting all the paperwork in order to close the deal. Then there's an attorney doc prep fee. This is what you pay the title company's attorney to prepare all the documents. They actually do not offer legal representation services and they remain as an independent party to the transaction. There's a fee to order and validate the tax certificate then a fee to record the deed and the mortgage, then the cost to create the warranty deed, then the cost to issue and file the release of the current lien on the house from your lender. If the title company has to order a survey as part of the transaction, that could be deducted from your proceeds as well. There's a courier fee that covers some courier and mailing expenses for the title company, a guarantee fee that's a required fee that the Texas Title Insurance Guarantee Association collects with every policy issued. And then there's an e-recording fee to file your documents electronically. Lots and lots of fees. And I list out all the possible fees on this calculator so there are no surprises. You may not have all of these applied to your transaction and some of these are negotiable, but just be aware those fees could be there. And I've also added a blank for you to add in any other fees that might be unique to your transaction. And then this is the auto calculated prorated tax amount that will be calculated as a debit to the seller. So you will get a total of all the estimated deductions. From there, you take that amount and subtract it from your sales price. And there you go, those are your estimated net proceeds. It's the estimate of what you will take home the day of closing. And before I close out this video, if we have not met yet, I am Jennifer Shannon. I'm a realtor and broker associate with Keller Williams. If you are looking to sell or buy a house anywhere in the DFW Metroplex, my team and I want to be your real estate resource of choice. Simply reach out to me by phone or text at 214-803-4444 or send me an email to jshannon at kw.com. If you are not in the DFW area, please let me know if my team and I can help in any way. We connect soon to be sellers with some of the top realtors in the nation. We are part of a national network of real estate agents where we can verify top production and vet top performing agents to make sure you are working with a savvy professional in any metro. If you would like for us to connect you with a trusted and experienced agent, just reach out and let me know. Well, that is all I have for this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.